I'm hunting in the picturesque northeastern mountains of the Free State in search of free roaming fellow deer. Here's a little herd of fellow deer. But we don't want to take a shot of them standing on his carpet. So. We want to go over this ridge on top of the plateau and um, scout the, the surroundings. Going over there on that ridge there. This morning it's clear skies. Spend the morning in the Kloof walking through the Aloud and Aloud patch there before there's some fellow deer. I didn't find anything. Our first shower on this trip. It's hot and we're quite tired. It's gonna be refreshing. Yeah, water this is very chilly. Good. Yeah. It's warm this afternoon.
this. Beautiful, huh? Flashback for the photo ground. Yes, sir. Huh? Is it open for you? Well, I can Gears taking a beating. See? At last. Yesterday we went up that mountain there. Eh? Uh, on top there. That plateau there. Then we went over to another mountain and then down a the clue of there. We will make camp. Um, but we haven't spotted any fire deer today. Yesterday we found um, fire deer twice. I heard of a beautiful ram, but we decided to leave him. And then uh, we spotted a solitary ram, but we didn't get an opportunity to take a shot. So hopefully we can spot some nice rams at this talk. There's some fellow deer there on the escarpment on the opposite mountain. All right about there. Up there. But they are too far. If we move there now, we're gonna be there too late this afternoon. If we shoot him at dusk, we won't be able to carry him down. So we're gonna track back to our camp. We'll be there late afternoon. And then tomorrow we will uh, we will go into that mountain soon try to find him there. Hi uh, Philip. Yeah. I mean, I going to walk towards the, the one side where we saw that first ram then we're going to scout the area there look for other rams so hopefully this morning we, would, we can find something early it's 
bisschen misty this morning. It was cold last night, but uh, there's no wind this morning, so hopefully it will stay that way today. Especially up the mountain, there's, it's quite windy up there. There's three fellow deer ewes. Can't see a ram of them. Quite misty this morning. But it seems like only three ewes. It's very chilly this morning. And it's a slight wind that just picked up now. Uh, going up into that mountain near the back on the far side. And then find the vantage point where we can blast the surrounding valleys and ridges from. But it need to warm up a little bit for the rams to come out. I think. Thousand, it's a bit far from. Ah, another thing. Thousand, yeah. Oh, no. A bigger ramp, Philip. Big That's a big ramp. That's a big, big, big ramp. We're going to move in this out line here around around that hill there. Come around up to that bushes there. And we can stalk them from there. Now moving into that out little out um, patch there. And uh, I think they're going to be down there. Left back and they ran straight towards the fallow deer. So we're just gonna give them some time to relax. Yeah, the bliss box spooked the fellow deer in the rain. We, we didn't see where they went. We were waiting here for a while. So we can go, we're going up to get a better vantage point. See if we can't see them again. Seven, eight, eight fellow deer rams. Patch yeah, alert. Yeah. They just stay down there in front of us. I take a shot if we can get a clean shot. Nice, nice point. Nice angle to shoot. 
Süden. forward to get a better point and a better angle. It's approximately from here 238 meters. The estimate is going to go to 210 when it gets to a point there. Exactly. The range finder. There's the rest of them down there. Excellent shot. It's okay. They don't even know where the shot's coming from. Looking, searching for it. Perfect setup. <laughs> this is a big one, eh? I love it, what? I love it. Uh, Thank you. It's a moose of moose group walk, right? Beautiful. I think it's the biggest one I've seen here with us. So, really beautiful. Excellent shot. What a beautiful hunt we had here in the northeastern mountains of the Free State. I'm hunting here with Philip Witter, a good friend of mine and invited me here to hunt a free roaming 
fallow deer on their beautiful farm here. The plan was to stay a few days in the mountains, sleeping there, and uh, try to, to find the fallow deer. We found two groups of uh, fallow deer, two nice rams, but we decided not to take them. Um, we were looking for something um, bigger. And this early this morning, we started off hunting again. And we went even two hours in the felt when we spotted a, uh, a herd of fallow deer. It wasn't a breeding herd. So uh, we stalked them for maybe two hours. We spooked them once and we caught up with them again. And um, we stalked them up to a point where we, we, we had them at 220 meters. So uh, it, was a, it was a perfect setup. He allowed me a broadside shot. Um, he just dropped there. Um, it, was a, it was a beautiful hunt and a fantastic uh, result in the end. Um, you know, hunting with a good friend, hunting in, uh, in a beautiful area. These are the highest mountains in the Free State. Um, and these uh, fallow deer are free roaming, so you don't know what you'll find. Uh, so it's really special. What we're going to do now is we're going to gut this ram and then um, skin him. I'm going to cape him, shoulder mount this, uh, this beautiful uh, trophy. And then we're going to have to carry it back to our camp where we, where we're going to sleep tonight. It's about a kilometer's uh, hike from here. So we're going to hike the meat out first and then we'll come and fetch the, the, the trophy. So uh, what a fantastic hunt. It's a, it's a privilege being here. Uh, thank you, Philip, and thank you to your dad for allowing me this opportunity. I appreciate it dearly. Um, and um, it's, it's such a special place. You know, our friends have been 20 years now. I've been hunting here before. Um, so it's, it's really special to me. Thank you so much. Camps about a kilometer away. successful day but what a long day
in the room from the fella there yesterday. We've got some fillet and backstrap. The last one, um, spices. My sock. In your sock. Olive oil, some spices, pepper, salt. Druvos on previous calorie for a plant. Gaan eten, we gaan kijken. <laughs> Ik zal maar even een lepel vat. Moet je als zijn? Of vind jij dit? Dat is het. Dit is het. Dit is het. Dit is het. Dit is het. Uh, Philip's going to prepare us a sweet and sour liver, uh, one of his grandmother's recipes, and um, we also got two fillets that we're going to fry. Let's not clean the liver out first and wash it a bit. We're going to clean this liver now, cut off all the unnecessary parts. So we're going to use this JKG you could see a knife. This is a bottom knife. We're going to use it to clean the liver. Nothing is a clean level, so this buck is nice and healthy. It's a sweet, sour, it's gonna add a bit of chili salsa. So just like a spice, as much as you think. Someone like a pepper. Cup of water. I'm gonna add some estimate uh, quarter of a cup of vinegar. And then we're gonna add our mix of sugar and mazina and that's gonna make up our sauce Baie dankie liewe Heere vir hierdie geleentheid en die voorrecht om in die skeping in die natuur te wees. Dankie dat jy ons beskerm het en dankie vir die sukses. Dankie vir die voedselseens bly vir ons lichaam en ons raaf hier asjeblief om vir Philip en sy familie ook te sien. En dankie vir al die genade, die liefde en die gins. In Jesus' naam vir ons het. Amen. Lekker. Ja. Die saus is lekker. Beter is het kan je nie kry nie. En vaar. En vaar. En bel jy allemaal, en sê vir allemaal jammer, dat ek ook nie gaan brand. Ek druk sommer hierdie, hierdie vullet in. Ek gaan ons saus. Sê moed. Ek wil vroeg, die mense. Die hoor is ek my die lekker wat.
Ja, dat heb ik hier lopen, jong. Uit bergwater. Mijn koers is dan broken. Ik heb nog die koersklip voor ik nog verder ga. Ik heb nog een beetje skip. Dat is de trap. Dat is de trap. Philip, we gaan mee. Waar is die nog uit? Zwart lip toe. Maar dat is niet mijn, dat is die ervaring, dat is die waarheid. Wat ben je? Een auto, hoor. Een auto. Een auto. Een auto. Een auto. Pronunciation. Hij recorde. Wat is het? Jo. 1, 2, 3. Wat doe je? Ik ga even zeggen. Jij kan zien, jij kan zien. Dit is gewoon een vrouw. Ik ga even zien. Ik ga even zien. Ik ga even zien.